the Eco Discovery Center is a joint effort between NOAA, the National Marine Sanctuaries, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, the National Park Service, uh, South Florida Water Management District, and a local foundation called Sanctuary Friends Foundation of the Florida Keys. It's been about a 10-year process from uh, getting the idea to actually opening the doors. And in the year 2000, the Navy, which uh, used to own this property, uh, deeded it over to NOAA in the National Marine Sanctuary Program. And they gave us about three acres, and the Eco Discovery Center is one of three buildings here in the complex. And then, after the building was done, we put about $2 million into the exhibits. And it's just a world-class visitor center. I tell folks that it's Smithsonian quality uh, exhibits. Uh, well, we have four main areas in the facility. Uh, one of our nonprofit partners operates our gift shop, which is a very, very high-class gift shop. Uh, it's a company called Eastern National, and they operate in most of the national and state parks around the country on the eastern half of the United States. Another one of our nonprofits is Moat Marine Laboratory out of Sarasota, and they operate our Living Reef exhibit, which is where we are right now in their exhibit. It contains a 2,500 gallon reef tank with live tropical fish, corals, anemones. So it's almost like going snorkeling out to the reef without having to get wet. It's really awesome uh, exhibit. One of the other rooms is our terrestrial habitat exhibits uh, where everything is land-based, the hammocks, the beaches, the dunes, things like that. The other room is the marine or underwater room where we have a simulated underwater video camera that visitors can explore. We also have a replica of the Aquarius, which is the world's only undersea laboratory. It's up in Key Largo. It's in about 60 feet of water and they do a lot of research there and NASA will actually sometimes send the astronauts down there before missions to get used to the isolation and also the weightlessness. So uh, that's a, a really terrific room as well. And then our last room is our theater. We have a 74-seat state-of-the-art digital theater where we show our 20-minute film about the keys. And it was made exclusively for the Eco Discovery Center. And it's just a great introduction to all the different habitats here in the Florida Keys. So it's a great uh, facility for young and old alike. And I tell folks that we're like the Key West trifecta because we're air-conditioned, we're totally free, there is no charge, and we have parking, which if you've been to Key West before, you know that's a premium. So it's just a great facility. Well, our purpose is to try to educate folks about the need to preserve, conserve, and protect this you know, beautiful place that we call home here in the Florida Keys. Not just the coral reefs, but also the pinelands, the hammocks, the beaches. Uh, they're all intertwined, they're all related. And we want folks to realize that what they do at home can actually affect what happens here in the Florida Keys. We just want people to come away with a respect for the environment and to realize that everything is intertwined. Our film is, is a great uh, purveyor of that uh, because it shows the interconnectedness of all the creatures, whether they're flying, whether they're swimming, whether they're on land, how we all at some point depend on each other. And it's just, uh, you know, we all have to get along and live together here if we want to preserve this for our kids and our grandkids and their grandkids. We are off the beaten path a little bit. Uh, we are in an area that's called Truman Waterfront, which is at the end of Southern Street. Our hours are 9 to 4, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday, and we are closed on Sundays and Mondays. But uh, anytime from Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 4, come on out. It's a great place uh, for kids, for grandparents, for everybody in between. Thank you.